Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create custom checkout page in WooCommerce. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. And from here you have to install cart flows. Okay, so you can see this we have WooCommerce checkout and funnel builder by cart flows. So we have to install this. So I have already installed and activated this. So after this, what we need to do, we have to go inside the cart flows. And you will be able to see the dashboard of the card flows here. So the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the store checkout. And we have to click on create store checkout. Alright. So as you can see this, we have bunch of different templates here for the store checkout. Some of the templates are the part of pro version. And some of them are basically free. So we will simply choose one template from them. Or either we can start from the scratch as well. But I'm going to use the template here. So I think I would go here with evergreen product too. So let's click here, view all steps. All right, so as you can see this, we have our checkout page and we also have the thank you page. So now what we need to do, we have to click on import funnel. All right, so now you can see this, we have actually got the two pages here, the checkout and the thank you page. So right now I'm gonna simply delete the thank you page because I don't need this right now. So we gotta simply delete this from here. And now you can see this, we only have the checkout page. So first I will need to enable the store checkout. And after this, what I need to do, I have to click on edit step. Because I wanted to edit the checkout page template that we have got. Alright, so we have got our checkout page template here. So let's just customize this. Okay, so first of all, I would like to customize this part because I want to change the color here. So let's click here. And from here, we have to go into the style. And from here, I would like to change the background color. Okay. So let's see what we can add here. So I would like to go here something green. So let's just change the color to the light green or something. All right. So this color is looking fine. Okay. So I want to go here with this color. So now what I need to do, I think I can increase. Or uh, maybe this is okay. Okay. So this is looking fine. So first thing that I need to do, I need to change the logo here. So let's just change the logo from here. Okay, so I think I would go here with something dark here. All right, so we can go here with this one. All right, so this is looking okay. I can change the width of this. All right, so now this is looking fine. And after this, I have to change the heading here. That would be place your order. And I would like to change the color of the text here. So that would be black color. And also this dummy text. So that would be also a kind of black color. Okay, so that is looking fine. And also you can see this, we have this icon of the SSL certified. So if you wanted to change this or remove this, you can simply do it from here. All right, so that was the first part. Okay, so after that, what do we have? We have the customer information. So if I just click here, you can see this, we have the layout. We have the select layout option. So let's see what options we have in it. Okay, so we have the modern checkout, we have the modern one column. So let's click here. And this is how this will look. But I think the first one was looking better. And after this, we have one column structure, we have two columns. And in the last, we have the two other layouts. But unfortunately, those layout are the part of ProVersion. So I'm going to go here with modern checkout. This is looking better. And if I go into the style, you can see here, we have the global setting, we have the heading, we have input fields, we have button, we have payment section and field validation. And in the last, we have order review. Okay, so let's start with the heading. Let's click on the heading here. So in the heading, we have the kind of gray color maybe. All right, so I think we can go here with the black color. That would look fine. And uh, I can change the typography here. So I would like to go here more straight that is looking fine and after this i would go here into the input field so in the input field the style is default and we also have the modern labels so let's click here all right so i think this is looking better so now we have the modern labels and uh, after this we have the typography so i would like to change the typography here so that would also be more straight okay so this is looking fine and i can also increase or decrease the text size and also the weight and you can also see the other typography options here and after this we have the label color so let's just see if we can use any color here 
I think the default color will look fine. So this is okay. So we are having a kind of grayish color. And if you wanted to change the field background color, you can also do this. Okay, but I don't want to do that. And after this, we have input text or the placeholder color. So if I wanted to change the input text, I can also do this. So in the input text, we're going to have the black color. Okay, so if I just write down something here, you can see this, it is in the black color. And you can also see that we are having this red border on the hover effect. So I would like to change the color of this. Okay, so let's see how can we do this. Alright, so I think there is no option in the input field to change the border color on the hover effects. So maybe we have it on the other options, but let's see. All right, so after this, what we have, we actually have the buttons. So in the buttons, we have the typography. So let's see, we would like to change the typography here. Let's just change the text here. Monster it. Now you can see this, we have change in the typography. And what we can do here. Okay, so I would like to change the background color here. So that would be a kind of green color. So we can go here with a kind, we can go here with the dark color. Or oh, let's see, this one look better maybe because our text is kind of white text. All right. All right. So this is looking better. And uh, after this, we have the border type. So let's just go here into the payment section. So in the payment section, we have the text color, we have the description and other options here. But unfortunately, since we haven't connected the payment method in our WooCommerce store right now. So that is why we can't actually see the options here. And after this, we have the field validation. Okay, so in the field validation and the error messages, we have the label color, we have the field border color, and we also have the error messages. And in the last, we have the order review. So in the order review, we have the text color and the background color. All right. Okay, so if you wanted to change the number of fields that we have on the billing detail, we can also do that. So let's just update this. And from here, we'll simply go back to our card flow that would be into the store checkout or the funnels. I think I would need to go into the store checkout. Okay, so we have this. And what I can do here. Okay, so let's just click on the open settings. So we have the checkout form. So in the checkout form, you can see that we can enable Open fields, we can enable additional fields, and you can also these options here. And we also have field editor. So let's click on the field editor. So if you want to enable custom field editor, you can do this. And we have the form heading, and after this, we have the place a order button. All right, so you can simply change the text of it. All right, so now let's just try to enable field editor. All right, so from here, we can basically disable or enable the number of fields that we have on our billing form. And also on the shipping field okay so I don't want to have this field and also the phone number and I can also skip the company name and what we can do here okay so I think this is fine and in the similar way I can also change the number of fields in the shipping fields so you can see it from here but right now I'm gonna go here with these options okay so I need to save this so let's just do this again all right so I just need to save this and if I just go back to our checkout page, right now you can see this, we have the company name, we have this apartment field and after this we also have the phone. So if I just rephrase this, alright, so now you can see here we have simply disabled the company name and also the apartment and also the phone number. But also we have the additional information. So I don't want to have this, so I'm going to go back here and I will uncheck this field. And basically this will work fine. So let's just save settings. Go back. Refresh the page. Alright, so this is how you can see here that we have also deleted the additional information. Alright, so if you wanted to add the coupon code, we can simply do it. We simply go back to the card flow. And from here I'm going to simply enable coupon field. And let's just save this. And if you go back into the Elementor editor, refresh the page. Now you will be able to see the coupon code here. All right. And if you wanted to add the testimonial, so we can simply do this. So we simply need to click here. And I would actually like to delete this. So I would like to delete this one. And also this one. And on here on the image box, I would actually need to delete this as well. All right, so now we're going to simply add the testimonial. Okay, so for that, I'm going to write down testimonial. 
So let's just drag this and put this here. And now you can see our testimonial here. So let me just add the dummy content here. All right, so I have added the content. And if I wanted to add the image, I can simply do this. So let's just have this one. Select. Okay, so this is looking fine. And what I need to do, I can increase or decrease the resolution of the image. And we need to change the name here. So I would like to remove the title. And I will keep the name as it is. Okay. And after this, if you want to add the link, you can do this. And I would like to change the position of the image. So it should be like this. This is looking fine. And we can change the alignment here if you wanted to. But I think center will look fine. So now let's go into the style. And see what we can do here. So in this style, we have the content. So I can change the text color of the content. I can change the typography and the texture. Too. So now let's click on the image here. So in the image, you can see this. We can change the size of the image here. So I would like to change the size here. Okay. I would like to keep it on the 40 px. All right. And on the name, I think I would like to change the font size. Okay. So I think the 15 is looking fine. And I would like to put this into a side. All right. And what we can do here, I would just simply like to copy paste the content so that we can have. Alright, so I think this is looking better. What I can do here, I will simply go back. In the content, I would actually like to change the size of the font. Alright, so I think the 14 would be fine. Okay, so this is looking better. And alright, so this is looking better. And this is how we can add the testimonial as well. And this is how we can add the testimonial as well. So this is how we can create customized checkout page. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.